Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. Let's go add a header and a footer to the Google document. Headers and footers in the Google Docs are sections at the top and bottom of the page that stay consistent across multiple pages or the whole document. Meaning that when you change something in one header or footer, the updated data gets duplicated over the entire document. Unlike regular data in a document, changed all the time. Normally, we put their section titles, page numbers, author information, dates, footnotes and similar data that you want to stay there permanently. And that also makes the document look more professional and academic. Now let's create both header and footer and overview our possibilities in working with them. First, let's insert a header on top of the document. That is performed by double-clicking on the top section of any page in the document. Or you can do that via the Insert menu on the top toolbar. Down to the Headers and Footers and selecting either one. Though first way is faster and more comfortable. Then you'll see such a break line, meaning that a space above it is a header. And here, you basically have the same possibilities to work with data as in the document itself. But as mentioned earlier, this info will stand consistent on top of every page of the doc. That means text and its different formatting, even images, tables, drawings and surprisingly, even graphs. To demonstrate that it's not different from your regular tools for the document. To enter a simple text, double-click on the header and just type in anything you want. I'll do Hello World. Then I want to move it to the right, so I highlight the text and align it to the right with this button on the toolbar. You can change its font, size, formatting and everything you can normally do to the text. Let's move down. For you to see that what I have made on the page above is repeated on the next page. And to return to editing it, I don't have to go back to the page where I started. I can keep editing it from here by double-clicking on it and just continuing. Now I will delete the text and insert an image by going to the Insert item on the toolbar on top. Dragging cursor to the first line here and selecting the Upload from a computer and selecting the logo of our company. Then, if I scroll up, you'll see that it was duplicated on other pages as well. Though, I'd like it to be farther from the top. So, I select the header and go to its options on the right of this separating line and Header Format where in the first field I increase the number to 1 and apply down here. As you can see, it just moved down with the content of the doc. Now the footer, which is absolutely identical to the header concerning its contents. But to access it, we scroll down to the bottom of the page, double-clicking on an empty space on the bottom, and I'd want to insert page numbers, commonly used in footers. Back to the options of the header and let's press page numbers and simply insert the numbering by just pressing apply. And the page numbers are now put on every page of the doc. This is it. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodocs.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.